So this tutorial is about developing a demo application using Spring Lemon as you know and in this particular lesson we are going to look at how the finished application is going to look like. So the finished application is running here and let me tell you that uh, this is an AngularJS frontend and we are not going to develop this frontend in this tutorial. We will just be developing the backend. Okay, so let's begin from sign up. Uh, there are two ways to sign up. You can s sign up either by providing your email, name and password or you can uh, sign up using your Google or Facebook account. So let's try signing up using email, name and password. You see here that Spring Lemon supports CAPTCHA validation. Okay, now I, when I sign up, uh, I see a message that my email ID is unverified and a verification mail has been sent to my email ID. Uh, in our demo application, we don't have a real mail sender configured. And so, uh, the verification mail will be written to our console. So, let me um, bring that from here. This is the link for verifying. Let me copy this link and I'm going to paste this link here. But before doing that, let me tell you that we also have the recent verification mail feature. In case uh, the user misses a mail, so he can always resend the verification mail. Okay, so let me paste it here and when I press enter uh, we can click here to get verified so let's click it and now verification is successful okay uh, let's shine out and let's now try signing in using Google uh, let me tell you that uh, we have already signed up using my Google email ID scapital 20 at gmail.com so we can sign in comfortably here but if we would not have signed uh, up using that gmail id then also we can sign in here and spring lemon will automatically register us it will pick our name and email from google and it will sign up us automatically okay so let me try to sign in using google you see that i am signed in next uh, let me look at my profile you see here that we have options to edit our profile to change our password to, to change our email id and to generate api keys uh, let me try to edit my profile uh, we can edit our name okay so if i press update you see here the name is edited here as well as here uh, an administrator can edit the roles of other users to show you how that is done let me shine out and let me shine in as an administrator by the way uh, we can spring lemon can create an administrator at startup uh, uh, in a new database uh, that's a different topic maybe we discuss that later so I am signing in using uh, an admin ID and now I can go to the profile of any uh, any any user I want to go to the profile of scapital20 at gmail.com let me fetch the user and now when I edit that user as an administrator you see that I can edit the roles of the user for example, uh, let me make that user unverified and if I update, uh, the role has become unverified. Uh, to check, let me shine out and sign in using that uh, email. You see here that the role is unverified. Okay, so let me skip these common features and let me go to the API key. 
Now let me tell you that our API is completely stateless. Uh, we log in using a JWT token, uh, in fact actually a JWE token which we store in local storage in the client and Spring Lemon allows to set the validity of the token and refetch a new token when needed that is for session sliding etc and all this would be done automatically in the front end without uh, the end user's knowledge but this particular feature this create token has got a specific purpose uh, if the end user needs to access our API programmatically that means maybe he needs to provide the API key in some other uh, service and that service is going to access our API in that case uh, the end user can generate a token by clicking this button you see here that we have the token generated and uh, when generating the token spring lemon allows us to specify a validity period uh, although that is not coded here in this particular front end uh, but uh, that's possible okay so this was a brief demo of the rest api that we are going to develop following the getting started guide uh, join me in the next lesson and you will appreciate how easy it is to develop production grade rest apis using spring lemon and let me tell you that we have not covered all the features of spring lemon in this video there is much more so join me in the next lesson